What's going on guys? It's your girl Janiqua A and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. Let's tap into your energy and see what you need to be made aware of and how you can stay afloat and ahead of the game. Damn. Using my services. <laughs> so... This is crazy. So, there could be some type of children involved, right? But the children came with the closed gate card. So, there could be a situation where somebody found out that these children are not theirs. Like, they probably look different from a different race or they're not from their bloodline. Some of you guys probably chose... To really stop supporting children that is not yours. But the gate is closed when it comes to children being supported by somebody. All right. This is it says. It says blended family. It says blended family foster or adoption. So if you guys were step parents or step mothers, step fathers, you guys are closing the gate on that you guys are done if you guys were supporting children and you thought that they wasn't cheat they yours they probably is not yours and you found out and you closed the gate but whether it is uh, your children somebody else's you playing a step parent role you've closed the gate on that close the gate i'm just getting bloodline you realize that they are not a part of your bloodline they are not your responsibility no more <laughs> children you got it's three children here close the gate you feel like they these children are causing you to misalign your opportunities as something so if this was if this was a blended family if this was some foster children or adoption there was so much karmic attachments to Doing this and you choke, cl close the gate. That's all I can close the gate. And do you see how it popped out? So you want two thirty three on the clock. Be someone's angel. That's what that um angel number means. So you was tired of being these people angel, and all it did was close the opportunities on you. So you close the gate with these children three. Y'all, and you learned the lesson. You learned to stop. Being responsible for other people's kids. Stop being responsible and trying to take care and be an angel when you are not wanted or needed. You learned a lesson. This is a lesson in a relationship learned. Y'all was in a relationship. Third. Y'all was in some sort of third party relationship. Where there was a whole bunch of infidelity, poly and interference. And y'all was taking care of children that was not yours. Y'all felt obligated to take care of these this third party children. So I get third party, meaning the kids. The kids could be a third party. Any outsider could be a third party. It don't have to be another person, like another relationship. Because if you really look at it, everything is a relationship. You build a relationship with these children, right? So what if these children grow up, don't respect you or the mother or the father don't respect you and you just like, I don't want to be attached to this. You're not obligated to be attached to these children because you got in a relationship with their parent. And when you start acting out of that and acting out of codependency and feeling obligated because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, you would then not learn the lesson. But y'all realize that you did not want to be in a relationship where the, the third party was the children. And the children was causing a lot of karmic debt that was accumulated. And somebody closed, y'all closed out a cycle with this third party, which was the children. Oh my gosh. And y'all left the door. Y'all left. Y'all been, the only thing that was holding y'all back was these foster children, adopted children, or blended family. You been... Contemplating, should I stay or should I go? You've been reevaluating this relationship, and the only thing that was attaching you was the third party, the children. 
But something became so much to where the children became a burden. Those were the two cards that came out. And you said, I'll be damned if I waste my life feeling like I'm in a third party relationship with the karmic and the children. No. And somebody released and opened that door. And when they, when I tell you y'all, y'all seen the bright fucking new opportunities that God had for you. Once you started to stop feeling obligated, you started to think with your mind and not your heart. Cause the third part, y'all, the fucking camera fucking stop working. So let me see. So yeah. So y'all realize like once y'all open a door and see a different view of stuff and see how much opportunities you had, y'all opened the door and y'all reevaluated y'all connection. All right. So the third party was definitely the children. So let's see. Uh, Spirit, tell me more about these um, blended family. It specifically says blended family forced the adoption. Yup. They live with them or they lived with them in a house. Like it was a third party. Like I feel like everything was surrounding these children. Or it was a lot. These children had a huge impact on this or, or on a relationship. The four of wands. Maybe you guys felt obligated to buy them homes or pay their rent. All right, pay their rent or pay somebody else's rent because the children live there. You know, this is about stability. You guys were tired of that. Spirit, tell me what is this closed gate? Yup. And once you close the gate, the moms, the real mothers, had to provide and had to do what they needed to do to make ends meet and be a mom and get a job anything can happen just like what's happening now all right spirit give me more about and, and there was nothing but arguments there was nothing but chaos in the house anyway when it comes to these children and that's another reason why that was a lesson learned for you ever moving forward with children being a part of the relationship before you get there. Even having to think children are not yours. You have a totally different perspective. And you completed that lesson. Like you're, you're, you're really understanding of how children play a big role in someone's relationship. Especially if it comes attached with karmic cycles. And karmic people. It makes you, and for some of you guys that have children, some of you guys don't even want to take care of your children because of the parents. And that's, that's real talk. So spirit, um, tell me more about this eight of swords and this gate closed. When I say gate closed, for some of you guys, you probably could have been going to jail, like kept getting locked up for these children for real with the gates. The children literally was a third party. And that's why I'm big on children staying in the child's place, not being around grown folks' business. You know, it starts from home. Spirit, tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Oh, shit. The King of Swords, he didn't have... This is the King of Swords in reverse. He didn't have no say-so when it came to him putting his foot down to the children. But they wanted to claim him as the father. He didn't have no say-so as the King of Swords, as the man of the house when it came to these children. But they felt obligated for him to take care of them. No. He said, no, if I can't... Do what I want to do with my children. If I can't see my children when I want. If I can't give them back to you when I want. If we not co-parenting like that. And I don't have no say so. Yeah I'm going to close the gate. On you and these three children. And any of the children that. Was not mine. And I was fostering adopting. Or trying to blend family with. I closed that gate. Un 
until I meet the right people that I can have a say so, whether it's a blended family or my children, it's not about to go down like that. And that's when this King of Swords learned the lesson that his his opinion should matter. His say so should matter. His words should matter. And it did it. And that's when he said, you know what? And he moved on how he was thinking instead of speaking. He got tired of speaking. And his presence was felt when he started drawing back from them kids. <laughs> What's this lesson learned, Spirit? This, this, it was a lesson learned in a relationship, too, on how kids can be a third party. Y'all, it was a lesson learned in a relationship. A relationship. Spirit, tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Now, when he gets into a next relationship, he's going to be fully understanding of a lot of shit. And when, no, when to set healthy boundaries. Y'all, with a real empress. Y'all. The lesson and the lesson is the lesson is learned, and now he understands true love, and now he has he has the opportunity to go with a motherfucking empress and create a ten of pentacles. Damn, and you see how God worked. And once he closed that gate on those children, now he got an opportunity with a new child. That's how God work with a new child. God set y'all up with a legacy. Your children's children is going to know what love is. Your children's children is going to know what respect is. All right? Look, they not going to be fighting? Well, I tell y'all, this man, nothing but fights surrounding children. Okay? The children disrespecting them, coming in and out the house all types of night. Them having to be obligated to feed the whole fucking family. Because of children that's not this and possibly not this for real. Look, working with two comic motherfuckers, working with wrong motherfucking contracts with these comics and their children. Providing. Feeling like y'all feeding the motherfucking needy. You hear me? Somebody had to put some law down. Spirit, tell me more about this Empress and Ten of Pentacles. The lesson was learned. Look, the King of Cups. He went from the motherfucking Knight of Cups to the motherfucking King with the Empress. That's how you learn the lesson. That's how you have, that's how you be an outstanding father, but still be able to put your children in place and teach them lessons without the mother stepping in. Allowing the father to be the father. Yup. Because the father's going to give love. But they also have to be a dad. Be stern. They wanted this man to be soft. No input. Look. Now he could teach his children. Spirit is talking to y'all. This is the knight of cups to the page of cups. Now he could teach his children about dreams. About Setting healthy boundaries, how to treat women, how to also demand what, how, what he wants. Yup. Spirit, tell me more about this third party, please. That was the lesson. They, he's the comic kids, the comic families, the comic mothers. He got an empress. Spirit, tell me what is this third party, please. Yup. He no longer in hangman mode. He realized that it was the children. He realized that there was no boundaries. He realized that his, his word wasn't good enough. He out of hang me a mole. This message is clear. <laughs> Spirit, what is this? Should a this person reevaluate the relationship? Once this person opened the door, it was so motherfucking bright. Yup, the Queen of Pentacles gotta go get a job. And take care of those children. Whether they adopted. Whether they foster. Whether they family blended. Whether they not his kids and he just found out. Whether they are his kids and he don't want nothing to do with them. Because of all of this. They gonna have to get a job. <laughs> yup. Cause he's out of here. 
He's, he got the world in his hand now. He got his future together. He's out of here. He released the burdens of those children. Of his, the children. Spirit, Um, anything else about this empress? She's the earth angel that's able to provide beautiful balance and creating a very stable, loving home life. A very nurturing household. She's a great and outstanding mother because she knows how to blend things together with love. All right. And that is the justice for this whole reading. She is. Okay. She is. Because somebody had to initiate all of this, right? So that's what I have. It was the children that's was the third party that y'all realized this man can't have a say so and nothing it was bickering it was obligations it was lying it was stealing the lesson was learned now he is on his way to his empress and he grew from a knight to a king which produced a page of cups so y'all will be having a child probably a boy but he's able to install what he wants he's able to have the own rules in his own household because the the empress is going to allow it as long as it don't have nothing to do with danger and hurtfulness. She's fine. She's going to let her man do that because she's too busy attending to the household, making sure everything is good, making sure everything is growing, love, mind, body, and spirit. And these people are going to have to work because he's out the door and they feel trapped. So I love you guys and I hope that helps.